She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Aloha! Well, guess what? Today I thought I'd share something from the islands, and you know, I've never been there. I can't afford to go clear across the country to some island, and the best I can afford is some dollar store lays. And you know, I can't get there, but guess what? I can afford a can of crushed pineapple. I can bring the flavors of the island to you for, well, about 99 cents. And today, I'm going to show you how to take this can of crushed pineapple and turn it into a delightful aloha treat that I call my pineapple aloha cookies. It's so simple, and they're so tasty too, and it's the island in a can. You just can't beat it. I'm going to show you how to make them up next on Cooking with Jolene. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my pineapple aloha cookies. One cup butter. Three ounces cream cheese. One cup sugar. One egg. One eight ounce can of crushed pineapple. Two tablespoons of orange juice concentrate. One teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my pineapple cookies is super simple. All you need is your hand and you can mix them up in a bowl or a hand mixer. Or today I'm using my stand mixer. What you're going to do is you're going to start with the one cup of the softened butter. So you're going to put that in the bowl to start with. One cup softened butter. There is half a cup and the other one. There we go. So we've got one cup of butter in there. And now we're going to add one cup of sugar to that. Let's see, where is my sugar today? My kitchen is all a mess today. Sugar, 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 sugar. Is it over here? Wow. Welcome back. Making my pineapple cookies is super simple. You can mix them up by hand, or you can use a mixer by hand, or you can use a stand mixer like I'm using today. I softened one cup butter and placed it in the bowl. Now I'm going to take one cup of the sugar and pour that in there. And we're going to cream it together with that butter. There we go. And we're just going to place this down just like this. And turn it on. And cream that together. Now we're going to add the one egg. And the two tablespoons of orange juice concentrate. There we go. Now add one teaspoon vanilla extract. Mm. 
In another bowl, I sifted together two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. Now we're going to add that to our butter-egg mixture. And we're going to add it a little bit at a time so it mixes thoroughly. Now, add three ounces of the cream cheese to the mixture and mix that around. And finally, add an eight ounce can of crushed pineapple that you've drained to the mixture. Now, preheat your oven to 375 degrees and take your dough mixture, bowl and all, and pop it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so it can firm up a little bit. I've gotten a baking pan, which I've sprayed down with some butter spray. You can use some oil or whatever you've got around the, the trailer or home. And now we're gonna drop them tablespoon-wise down on there, and I like the cookie scoops, or you can use a melon baller, or even a spoon, or whatever you got around the place and we're going to give them room to spread a little bit and we're just going to get a whole pan here together there we go one and two now we're going to pop this in our 375 degree oven that's been preheating and they're going to bake for about 8 to 12 minutes you kind of got to keep your eye on them because you don't want them to burn because that, that would not be pretty at all. So let's pop them in now. Wish I could get this oven fixed. Oh, I almost took the door off there. We're going to pop them in there now. Set your timer. Time for cookies. Even though you can't go to the islands this fall on a vacation, my cookies will take you there. My pineapple aloha cookies are made with a 99 cent can of crushed pineapple and it bakes up to a nice fluffy yellow cute dainty cookie that will look really great at a tea party or a coffee party or just a get together or any time cookie and it really will taste like the tropics and that's about as close as you're going to get this year because there's a recession going on and you should be saving money and I can't wait to try this cookie mmm that tastes like well Hawaii well what I think Hawaii would taste like and it's so nice and buttery and I taste the hint of the pineapple and it's just a great cookie and I hope you get a chance to make it because it'll really take you to a tropical place and I hope you tune in next time where I show you some more budget eats and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be some more cooking shows soon I'm Jolene Sugarbaker the trailer park queen visit me on the web at JoleneSugarbaker.com I love you and I'll see you back real soon bye bye Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the stuff. double wide. Visit my store at jolinesugarbaker.com.